In this video, let me take you on a day trip to Hakone from Tokyo, Japan. Good morning! So I'm at the Shinjuku West exit. Um, this is the meetup of our tour to Hakone. So there are many tour buses here, so I just need to find my own tour. I booked this tour through Get Your Guide, but you can also book a tour through Kluk. So if you're going on a tour, make sure you arrive earlier than 15 minutes before departure. There were several tour buses near the meeting point, so I had a hard time finding the right bus. So I highly suggest arriving at least 30 minutes before departure. The tour provider is called Goryo Travel Co. Limited, and the bus is comfortable with Wi-Fi and a tour guide who speaks English and Chinese. Our itinerary promised us with a view of Mount Fuji, cruise, cable car, and volcano. You can also see Mount Fuji on the way to Hakone. After two hours of bus ride from Shinjuku, We've arrived at Lake Ashi. Hi guys, so we have just arrived here in Hakone. We're waiting for the pirate ship since we're going on a Lake Ashi sightseeing cruise before we go to the volcano. We're lucky because it's a clear day. We can see clearly the reflection on the lake and also Mount Fuji. Even on our way here, we can clearly see Mount Fuji. Our first stop is at Lake Ashi where we will be taking a scenic cruise on a well-decorated pirate boat while enjoying the breathtaking view of Mount Fuji and the Tori Gate to the Hakone Shrine. We boarded the Queen Ashinoko pirate ship. The cruise experience in itself is worth a visit to Hakone. But before we check what's inside the boat, let's first see the view from the deck. I was lucky because the sky was clear and the weather was perfect. It was late February so the temperature was also great. The tour includes the regular ticket for the sightseeing cruise. But you can also pay for an upgrade to first class if you want to access the upper deck. It's time to sail! The boat cruise only takes 30 minutes, but as soon as the boat starts sailing, you will enjoy a fantastic view of the lake, the Tori of Peace, the snow-capped Mount Fuji, and the other pirate ships. It's a fabulous view on a clear day. Now that we've seen the view from the deck, let's now check what's inside the ship. The pirate ship is decorated elegantly and there are seats available. There is also an area dedicated to first class passengers. They also have access to the upper deck but it's not necessary to enjoy the view. There's also an elevator and toilet. Okay, we're done with the almost done with the cruise. It takes only about 25 minutes from the port to the Odakyu port. Ride a rope 
From Toginday Port, we rode a bus to go to the Sunzan Station, which is one of the major stations of the Hakone Ropeway. The ropeway ticket is also included in the tour. It's also more convenient to have a guide so that you won't have to queue to buy the ticket and they also know the schedule so everything is planned and you won't waste time. We're now at the Tosin station of the Hakone Ropeway so we're going up the Ohadon Owakudami Valley. That's the volcano. So here at the second floor, there is a lounge area so you can down and you can also charge your gadgets there's also a cafe and souvenir shop so i'm just going to stay here for a while while waiting for our ride The Hakone Ropeway is part of the Hakone Round Course, which is a popular way to visit Hakone. It is also fully covered by the Hakone Free Pass, just in case you want to travel on your own. Along the journey, and if the weather allows, passengers can enjoy views of the active sulfuric hot spring sources of the Awakudani Valley between Sunzan in Iwakudani and of Lake Ashinoko in Mount Fuji between Iwakudani and Togendai. The cable car ride lasts about 20 minutes and once you disembark from the cable car, you will be able to see Mount Fuji. We were given about one and a half hours to explore Owakodani on our own. You can also take your lunch here since there are also restaurants. Hi, so I'm here in Owakodami Valley now and as you can see it's Freezing, but um, you will find you will see the sulfur coming out of the ground because it's a uh, an active volcano. So I'm really happy with this tour. I think the weather and the time is perfect. It's sunny, it's cold, but clear and sunny. So you, we can see Mount Fuji very clearly. So I think it's perfect for winter since it's clear. Wakudani is the area around a crater created during the last eruption of Mount Hakone some 3,000 years ago. Today, much of the area is an active volcanic zone where sulfurous fumes, hot springs, and hot rivers can be experienced. The steam that you can see, those are sulfur since this is a volcano, so it actually smells sulfur. I'm going to explore the place first and eat that egg because I want to add at least seven years to my life. <laughs> Egg. 
One of the touristy things that you can do in Uwakudani is eating black eggs. The eggs are cooked in Uwakudani's hot spring pools with their shells blackened by the sulfur. And they are on sale at the shops in the area for 500 yen. Eating one is said to prolong one's life by 7 years. Okay, so I finally got the black eggs. It's 5 pieces for 500 yen. It's already packed. So I'm going to eat at least one. Legend has it that if you eat uh, one black egg, then it would add 7 years to your life. So this is the packaging. So this is the black egg and I'm going to eat one. It's just regular egg. Yun lang. I have a problem. I don't know where to dispose the yolk. I don't eat egg yolk kasi na hard boiled eh. I think we have a perfect weather really. It's 9 degrees so it's cool but not too cold and it's sunny so you can clearly see the um, the sulfur, the mountain, and in front of me is Mount Fuji. Very clear. Mount Fuji. When you come here, again, try to explore the area because um, the photo spots are concentrated on the volcano, but Mount Fuji is actually um, can be seen clearly at the parking lot. Pero andito pala si Fuji san. So that's the volcano. And so that's Mount Fuji behind me and then in front of me you can see the volcano and then over here you will find the lake I think that's Lake Ash so yes I'm re really happy that I went here today the weather is perfect it's just 9 degrees so So it's already 12.50 p.m. So I'm going to walk to the bus. Our next stop would be the Gotemba Outlet Store. It's really nice. Okay, so we're now off to the Gotemba Outlet Mall. Another option is to go to the onsen. I'm just going to the mall. The last stop of our tour is at Gotemba. You have two options. You can either go shopping at the Gotemba Premium Outlets or go to the Gotemba Onsen Kaikan. Since I wasn't prepared for the onsen, I chose to go to the outlet mall. The Gutemba Premium Outlets are Japan's most popular outlet mall located in Gutemba City at the base of Mount Fuji, which is not far from Hakone. Okay, so the last stop for this tour, we're at the Gutemba Premium Outlet. But some of our tour mates uh, went to the onsen. So we have two hours to spend here. I'll just look around and then probably grab some food. The mall is divided into three zones and features around 300 stores and restaurants. I'm not planning to shop because I don't have space in my luggage but this trench coat is calling me and it's only 2 9 yen. We were given 2 hours to explore and shop at the outlet mall. Initially, I thought it was a long time. But when I was there, the time passed by quickly and it was not even enough. I'm going to the other side since 
there are no restaurants here on the hillside. You can also see Mount Fuji here, but it was cloudy during that time. If you want to shop for luxury brands, you can go to the West Zone. If you're a tourist, don't forget to bring your passport when shopping here to avail of that refund on top of the discounts. So two hours has already passed. I thought initially that it was too long but when I started looking around, it actually passed by quickly. And I wasn't planning to buy anything since I don't have any space in my luggage but I couldn't resist the deal so I bought something from Coach. Now, um, there's another store that I want to go back to before I board a bus. I went back to the first store that I visited, which offered great discount on coats and trench coats. Fortunately, it was located near the parking lot. Okay, guys, so now I really have to go and board a bus. I was able to buy the trench coat. So I thought I wouldn't buy anything, but here we are. So just in time. We left Kutemba at 3.40 p.m. to go back to Shinjuku, hopefully before 6 p.m. Overall review, Hakone is a great day trip from Tokyo. Booking a tour is also worth it for convenience. Okay guys, it's 5.30 p.m. We're now back in Shinjuku. So it takes about one and a half hours from the Gutemba outlet store to Shinjuku. Okay, so I rested a bit at the hotel, but now I'm ready to go out for dinner and explore Shinjuku at night. For dinner, I decided to just go back to Shinjuku to find a place to eat. I just walked around and enjoyed the night view of the city. You've reached this far so thank you very much for watching my vlog. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Tune in is in the next episode, we're going back to the Edo period.